Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Today I'm going to share how you can simply add and manage team members in Google Workspace. This is by setting up their account, profile and professional business email. And we can do all this in just a few minutes. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this Google Workspace tutorial. Okay, so how can you add and manage your Google Workspace users? Well, the first thing that you need to do is head over to your browser and type in admin.google.com and that's gonna take you to your admin dashboard. Now, your account must be assigned admin in order to access this dashboard. Now, before we dive in, if you wanna learn more about setting up and getting the most out of your Google Workspace account, what I'll do is add appropriate Google Workspace tutorials down below in the description for you to check out. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to add a new account to your organization. This is adding a new user to your Google Workspace account. Simply navigate up to add a user, under users, which you'll find under home. Go ahead and click on add a user. Then add the user's first name and surname. Then simply add the primary email of your new user. Ideally, you want this to be their first name at the organization's domain. Now, rather than adding the first name to the user's primary email, many people end up using role specific words like admin at the organization's domain or sales, info, contact, support, and other email names like this. However, this is wrong. What we can do with those email names is add them as aliases and associate them with a primary email. And I'll show you how to do this shortly. So ideally in here, you want to add the user's first name, then come down and add their secondary email. This is usually the user's current email or personal email and their phone number over here. Now, because this is just an example, I'm going to leave these two fields empty. If we navigate down to manage users, password, organizational unit and profile photo, we can add the user's profile picture if we like, or they can do this themselves. And then we have these password options down here. We're gonna leave this as it is and then navigate across and click on add new user. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just wanna mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Now, if you added the current email or the personal email that this user is currently using, you can simply preview and send the instructions for that user to access their Google Workspace account. Or simply go ahead, print or copy password and send this to the user and they'll be able to log into their Google Workspace account, meaning they'll be able to access their professional email inside Gmail, as well as all the other Google apps that can be found inside of Google Workspace. You also have the option to add another user down here. For now, let's go ahead and click on done and then close this. Now you might need to refresh the page, but you should see your new user across here and you can find all your users under directory and then users. Now let's go ahead and manage this user by simply navigating over to more options and we can add this user to a specific email group. We can email the user, suspend the user, and then other options down here like restore data, delete the user, or change organizational unit. And the organizational unit is essentially a group that the admin, such as yourself, can create in the Google admin to apply a specific setting to users. Okay, so let's click out of here and then click on this user. And we have all these different options over here. We can reset the password for this user. We can update the user. We can upload a profile photo. We can add alternative emails. These are email aliases. And we can also add this user to a group. And then we have these other options, which we just talked about. So what you want to do is take the time to update your user's information. Here you can add important information about this user. If we click on admin roles and privileges, what we can do is assign roles. For example, if you want this admin to become an administrator, you would come down and click on assign super admin. And that's going to give this user access to the admin console, this admin console that we're currently inside. Okay, so let's navigate down and cancel this. 
and then we can enable or disable specific admin privileges. For example, if we navigate down to users, you can see what this user has access to. Okay, so I'm going to navigate up here and collapse this option. And then navigate down, and we can see information about the specific license that this user is on. You can also manage apps over here, and you can turn on or turn off apps. Okay, so let's navigate over to add alternative emails. Let's say that Sam Smith is an admin for our organization. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the alternative email, the email alias admin. And because we run a small business, they also deal with issues that our clients have. So another alternative email or email alias is a support email. Now you can also allow this user to not only receive emails from this email address here, but also send emails from this email address. To do that, what I'll do is add the appropriate tutorial down below that will show you how to set this up for your user aliases, meaning they can receive and send emails using an email alias. Simply come down and click on save when you're happy with those aliases. For now, I'm just going to click cancel. And here you can add the employee information. If we navigate over to update user, here you can update the user's primary Gmail address. And you can do that down here. Okay, so let's navigate back over to home. Again, to manage all your users from your dashboard, simply click on manage under users or navigate over to directory and come down to users. However, that is it for this beginner's tutorial showing you how to add and manage your users inside your Google Workspace admin account. And there we have it for this brief Google Workspace tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about Google Workspace, make sure to pop them down below. And remember, you can access all the resources I mentioned down below in the description that will help you get the most out of Google Workspace. Now, with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.